We are the Scroll Ensemble and we improvise classical music. This week we look at the Beatles solo from their song In My Life, which you just heard on Baroque instruments. On first hearing, the Beatles solo sounds quite Baroque. Some people think that because the solo was originally recorded twice slower on a piano and then sped up, the sound resembles a harpsichord. So we were wondering to what extent does the Beatles solo sound Baroque? As we are working on Bach's inventions at the moment, we immediately saw some resemblance with two of his inventions. The first motive of the Beatles is virtually the same as Bach's first invention's theme, with two extra ornamental notes. Also, the fifth invention bears some similarities in terms of using similar rhythmical patterns and the interplay between the faster and slower motive. The texture also could remind you of a Bach invention because it's in two parts and polyphonic. However, in the larger scheme of things, it's maybe more self-contained as part of a song and so perhaps it has more to do with variations on a harmonic pattern, which also is a standard Baroque practice. In light of its length, it is perhaps more related to the practice of preludes. These were short improvisatory pieces to introduce the mood or key of a composition, and were also sometimes used between movements. There is a prelude by Johann Caspar Ferdinand Fischer, what a name, that resembles the solo more in terms of length and uses the 16th feature of the Beatles solo. However, even in this short and simple piece, we can see that in the Baroque, there is more of a focus on one idea, trying to use this one motive in as many different ways as possible and developing all these ideas. In contrast, the Beatles use several ideas in an equally short amount of time. It was an inspiring journey for us to take some of these themes for our own Baroque improvisations. You can hear us improvise an invention here inspired by Bach's ideas. And often in Baroque improvisation one has a melody or a bass to improvise on, but in this case we just have some fragments and no other appointments. So it's very exciting to communicate with each other at this speed and find a way through the inevitable mistakes that come up. We also have some videos for you to learn along with us. Motive is all about rhythm. As you can see in the Fischer example, the motive comes in all kinds of places in the bar. So, have your first and very simple experience with that here. And James is taking you on a journey of your first prelude based on a bourdon, a note that comes back throughout the whole piece. Thank you so much for watching. Every week we have new videos and as you can see this week several ones. So if you are enjoying our videos please do subscribe to our channel um, and to support us even more have a look at our Patreon site with more exciting videos and learning opportunities.